Thank you so much for stopping by. My name still remains Adati Gogo. Today I'm going to show you how I use cloves and black seed to um, grow my hair. I'm going to combine this with virgin, virgin hair fertilizer. So that is black seed and cloves. I'm going to blend them together and add coconut oil to it. So let's go and blend them. That is it. The blended um, um, cloves and black seed with coconut oil. Um, forgive my blender, it was not smoothly blended, but I'm going to sip it now into a cup. This black seed is good for the hair and cloves too. They help stimulate hair growth. And because of that, I blend them with them. Um, I, yeah, blend them with my virgin hair fertilizer and apply on my hair and scalp. Since it helps to stimulate hair growth. Okay, I'm going to sieve this out. I'm not worried about the the small small particles because by the time this settles it comes down to the ground and you won't notice those small small particles again so after saving it I am going to add um, my virgin hair fertilizer because it conditions the hair and stimulates hair growth too and I'm going to add shea butter. Shea butter helps soften my hair. That's why I add it into this kind of um, mist um, so that I still have softer hair, manageable hair to work with. So I'm adding my virgin hair fertilizer and I'll also add um, shea butter to it. Many people know that shea butter is very good for 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 the hair, and for those of us here in Africa that have easy access to shea butter, we make use of it as heat protectant too. Um, yes, we use it as heat protectant. So this product can also help protect your hair when you want to use heat products on your on your hair so i'm going to put it on boiling water to dissolve this and also help infuse those the black seed and clove into the smith so with the heat um it's able to blend them all together so I'm going to continue to turn it until all these things are dissolved. One thing with having hair growth, um, you have to also consider what you eat. You have to consider what, how you manage your hair. You know, all those um, wearing hair tie, wearing wig to prevent it, um, external factors from breaking your hair, you know trying to hide your age your teeth the tips of your hair um, healthy hair tips in order to grow your hair goes a long way to ensure you have long hair then all these products and what you eat also helps i know many people say gene is a, is a factor when it comes to hair growth yes it is and also you can also help your hair grow to the maximum length it can get to now we are through with dissolving this products i'm going to keep this in the fridge to solidify and then show you how i apply it on the hair if you want to this time and you've not subscribed please do subscribe thank you for um thank you to all my old subscribers for everything for your support for being there for us liking and sharing our videos 
Ah, uh, may the good Lord continue to bless you. So I'm going to apply this on my daughter's hair. Um, we make the hair on Sundays against the new week. Um, so I'm going to apply it on her hair. Funny enough, everybody in my house have different hair texture. <laughs> we, <laughs> we don't have a particular head. Everybody has their own coil definition. Some are loose, some are very coily, you know. If you look at her hair, the hair pattern is a bit loose than what it's what 4C hair is. So I'm going to apply it and then weave it for her. to trim this hair by the time they go for vacation I'm going to trim her hair okay this is the final look thank you so much for watching see you next time on our videos bye